When I was five years old, I started to play the wood flute in the school, I remember. I remember the pages with these black notes, very, very simple melodies. I don't remember the melodies anymore, but I could easily have been da 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 da. Then um, I am the youngest of five, and all my brothers and sisters they played instruments, so they bought guitars. There was a piano, and I started to to. When they were out of home, I started to play the guitar, and borrow it for some times. And I also, st when I was getting a little older, I started to study it, to learn the first traditional song, which was Tambourine Man from Bob Dylan. And there is a house in New Orleans. It was some kind of obligatory songs for guitar. And um, then, uh, a little later, when I was about 15, I ran around with newspapers to get money to buy a, a, a real flute, a classical flute, which you play like that. And I took um, lessons in that, and that way I learned to read the music more than I learned when I, w I was very young, but it never really became my instrument because then I went out of school, I went out fishing and I brought this flute around with me, but it was really, it was something which uh, I liked the sound, but it, I think it was too sweet and especially it was because all my music has always been how to, how I can use the music to make something happen. And it is extremely difficult to start a party with, a, with this kind of flute. Uh, because people start dreaming, and especially the girls, they just start dreaming and they do not start dancing if one is playing only the flute. Then my brother, as usual, it was always influenced by my strong brothers, he started to play the accordion. It was a fantastic instrument because uh, uh, I had always liked to sing, and with the flute in the mouth, you cannot sing. And uh, I, therefore, with the accordion, it was like I have the guitar in my left hand, I have the flute in my right hand, and still I was able to sing. Meaning I could play three instruments at the same time and have a small band. <laughs> to Cuba and uh, I saw the how the trumpet the trumpet there were used which I always of course I knew how theatrical it can be and I knew how strong it can be and I, especially there because I heard a young man in the north of Cuba in a very big uh, place it was like a, a version a naughty not Cuban version of Tropicana so very high skilled musician. He was very young and he was playing solos like I never heard before, like he was singing very, very soft and uh, without, he was very equilibristic, but without showing his technique. You always, you felt here's a man just improvising with his voice and accidentally he put a trumpet in his mouth. And that inspired me a lot and I decided to try to, to continue and try to get on with the trumpet. And uh, it's much 
harder to play than the euphonium because you have to have much more strength here. And um, but I I studied hard and uh, tried to play it as much as possible. And the, the technique and in my work is always to put it, sneak it into a performance because if it's there, then I know I have to rehearse it and I have to play it well and I have to. Uh, I is giving time to use this in, in this work where we are working now. I, it's trying. It's it's very simple what I play. Franz wrote some music which is uh, quite simple, but then we are working on some uh, new things which we put into the work as uh, which are there now, which are extremely simple. And it's uh, like going going back to where I really was inspired from the very beginning, how you can use the trumpet as a voice, singing uh, very simple notes, long notes, and uh, but and the whole thing, the whole life you you can give them is how you how you blow this note, and I, that's uh, I found very inspiring and very in, interesting, like dogma. If you only have to play, you're only allowed to play three notes. How much life and how much pain and how much experience and music can you put into these three notes? <laughs>